What's going on guys? Coming to Justice here and today we're back with another LSPDFR tutorial. God bless you guys. God bless America. God bless the troops that fight for freedom. God bless our veterans and God bless Israel. So guys, uh, you know last week we did the GTA 5 real life mods and this week we're going to get back into the LSPDFR tutorials. Today I am going to be showing everyone how to install LSPDFR 0.4.6 along with Simple Trainer. Script hook V and Rage plugin hook. Now keep in mind, guys, these everything I've got here, all these mods are the most recent versions of these mods, okay? So with that being said, let's get on with this, guys. Click that first link down there that says LSPDFR. All right, it's going to bring you to this page right here, guys. And all you're going to do is just scroll down. This is the latest version, as you guys can see. We're going to scroll down here. I'm going to click this green button here that says download this file. Go ahead and do that. And then you guys can read all the license agreement and all that if you want to. But really all you got to do is just scroll down and click agree and download. Just like that. Alright guys. And we want the manual install. You don't want the auto setup. Okay. Let's do the manual. The bottom one right there. So click download on the bottom one right there. Alright. And then give it just a second. I hope you guys are having a great week so far. You're happy where you want to be in life. You're standing consistent prayer with God or some kind of meditation. Hope you guys had a fantastic weekend as well. Uh, I had a great weekend. I had some time off. Got to get my roleplay server. It was really cool. All right, guys. So what do you want to do with the LSPDFR? Guys, you can click Save right here to put in your downloads folder. Or as I recommend you do, click Save As. And put it on your desktop. And I'll show you guys exactly how to do that. Click that Save As button. And then scroll up in your file explorer right here under where it says This PC. And click Desktop. And then just click Save. And it will put it right to your desktop. See, there's my stuff on my desktop right there. Okay. All right, guys, so moving on to the next one. The next one is going to be Simple Trainer. This is going to be the latest version of Simple Trainer 10.9. Go ahead and click this green download button right here. All right, and once that's done, we'll give it a minute. What do you want to do with the Trainer V.RAR? Again, guys, you can click Save here to put in your downloads folder or click Save As. Sorry about that, guys. Give me just a second. Sorry about that, guys. Give me just a second. Let me go right back to that. I will pull it right back up. I don't, I don't know why my computer's been doing that, but it does that. And it's very annoying. Uh, let me get that pulled up real quick. Give me just one second, guys. I will get it pulled up for you. Simple trainer. And here we go. All right. All right, guys. So back to what we were saying. Uh, click the green download button right there. I hope it doesn't do it again. And then, what do you want to do with trainerv.rar? Click save. I think we already did this. And click save, or click save as and put it on your desktop, guys. And now that we got that, we're going to move, we're going to close out of that one. Let me close out of that. And then go to script hook v, guys, right here. Uh, by Alexander Blade, we're going to scroll down. And click download right here, guys, where my cursor is. Click that download right there. Again, guys, what do you want to do with Script Hook V? Uh, click Save here to put in your downloads folder or click Save As to put it where you like. All right, moving on to the very next thing. Now, these next two programs, guys, are only for people that use Windows 7, 8, and 8.1, okay? Windows 10 users, you do not need to do this, okay? You won't need to do anything until the last two, all right? So the next two programs are only for Windows 7, 8, and 8.1 users, okay, guys? So for those of you that are using those specific Windows... You're going to click right here where it says download.net framework 4.8 runtime. Okay? Click that. All right? It's going to ask you what you want to do. Now, guys, with this, you're going to have to click save, and then you're going to have to run this because it has to go through a wizard and be installed into your computer. Okay? So make sure you save it, and then you run it. All right? Next one coming up is, again, for Windows 7, 8, and 8.1 users. This is C++ redistributable. All right? Uh, go right here and select your language and click download. All right. And you want to click this box right here. And it's going to check all three of them. So make sure they're all three checked. And then click next. All right. Again, guys, you're going to have to click save and run this program. So it's installed on your computer through the wizard. Okay. Now make sure you save it and run it. All right. Now these next two are for everybody. All right. Let's close out of that. Rage Plugin Hook, the number one thing that runs LSPFR, guys. You cannot run LSPFR without this. 
you want to click download now right here where it says download now and we're going to select Grand Theft Auto 5 Legacy and for those of those wondering those of you that are wondering yes there is a rage plugin hook for Red Dead Redemption 2 uh, but we're gonna click on Grand Theft Auto 5 Legacy we're gonna scroll down and get the latest one right here 174 click download right there and you're going to uh, save this to your downloads or click save as and put it where you like okay and last but not least guys you're gonna have to have something to open up these folders and we're gonna use WinRAR okay now let me explain to you guys how this works so you're going to select your language, whatever that may be, mine being English, and then you're going to select the bit of your computer. So if your computer, let's just say your language is English, okay, and you have a 32-bit computer, you're going to be right here where I'm at, see, English, okay. Now, if your computer's a 32-bit computer, you're going to select English, 32-bit. If it's a 64-bit computer, you're going to select English, 64-bit right here, okay, and then you're going to save it. And again, guys, you're going to run this program so the wizard can install it into your computer, okay? All right, so now that we have all of our mods downloaded, everything is done. Uh, if you guys need time to install your stuff and, and run it and all that, you can pause the video and come back. Now that we've got everything installed, guys, here's what we're going to have to do next. You've got to find your Grand Theft Auto 5 directory. And the way that you do that, okay, is you're going to pull up your file explorer. You're going to go to this PC, which is where I'm at. You're going to go to the hard drive in which you installed your GTA 5 on, okay? Mine's going to be H. All right, then we're going to go to Steam Library, Steam Apps, Common, and then here is your Grand Theft Auto 5 directory right here. As you guys can see, I have a few copies of it. All right, so this is going to be your Grand Theft Auto 5 directory. If you're installing this for the first time, then you're not going to have all these mods and plugins and stuff that I've got, okay? But, um... If this is your first time installing this, you're going to have a clean copy of GTA 5. So your GTA 5 copy, if you're installing this for the first time, should look like this right here. This is what a clean copy of Grand Theft Auto 5 looks like, okay, guys? But I'm going to show you with my rare copy. So now that you've got that, all right, we're going to close out of that. And we're going to pull up our main directory just like that. And we're going to double-click that first WinRAR right there. This is LSPDFR. We're going to pull that up. All right, guys, a very simple installation here, guys. Very simple, okay? You're going to simply highlight every single one of these. Then hold down your control key and deselect license, okay? You're going to grab every single one of these files right here. You're going to bring them over in your main directory, and you're going to drop them just like that. Now, when you drop them, you're going to see a loading bar start taking place, and everything's going to start going in. Once everything is loaded in, all of these mods that you just highlighted will be highlighted in blue into your main directory, okay? Just making that clear so you guys know. Let's go ahead and close out of that WinRAR right there. Let's go to the next one being our Simple Trainer. All right, let's go ahead and pull that up. And this is your Simple Trainer, guys. The only files you need in this right here is going to be these bottom two, okay? Highlight those, grab them to your main directory, and drop them just like that, okay? That's all you got to do. So let's close out of that. Next up is script hook V. All right. Let's pull that up real quick. Now, when you open up your script hook V folder, it's going to have these three folders right here. You're going to double click on the one that says bin right there. Okay. So go ahead and open that up. And then there's three files in here. We're only going to need two. Okay. You're going to need this one right here, script hook V.net. I mean, script hook V.dll. And then hold down your control key and highlight dinput8.dll, okay? You're going to grab both of these files, pull them into your main directory, and drop them just like that. Okay, guys? Now let's close out of that. Last but not least, guys, Rage Plugin Hook. Go ahead and uh, double-click that and bring it up. All right? And all you're going to do, guys, is you're going to highlight every single one of these right here. You're going to hold down your control key, deselect License, and deselect SDK, okay? And you're going to grab all of these right here. You're going to grab them in your, pull them in your main directory and drop them just like that, guys. Okay? That's all you got to do. Now that we're done with that part, once you are done, guys, you're going to scroll down and you're going to see your Rage plugin hook right here. Okay? Now what you want to do is you want to highlight that and then right click on it. Right click on it and then send that to your desktop. There's a very good reason for this, okay? But before we go any further with that, now that we've done that, I want you guys to click on LSPDFR right here, okay? Double-click that, and then double-click on keys, all right? 
Now let's make this real big so we can see it. Now guys, mine is going to look a lot different than yours, okay? Because mine is modified, okay? I've set mine to my liking. So here is what... Now if you guys want to set your stuff to how mine is, that's perfectly fine. I'll lead you right through this. Alright, so the first one here is going to be your Pursuit menu key. It's going to be set to N. Just leave that alone, okay? What you do want to do is find the word None and highlight it and then right click and copy it okay because we're going to be using the word none quite a bit all right now once you move on down a little bit it's going to say pursuit menu controller and it's going to say d-pad up you want to highlight that d-pad up and then right click and click paste okay to paste the word none to that okay if you highlight the word none and copy it all right now the reason i'm doing that is so this is not on your controller it doesn't it doesn't interfere with anything and nothing clashes okay we're going to move on down here. Um, see, everything here looks good. Just give me a second, guys. I'm going to scan through this kind of quick. And uh, let's see. So all this looks right. Um, just give me a second, guys. I will, uh, I will find the ones that need to be changed. Traffic stop start. Okay, here's a good one right here, guys. Next one. Traffic stop start controller key. Yours is going to be set to A, okay? But you need to highlight that A and paste the word none in there because you don't want that A on your controller if you're using a controller, okay? If not, then don't worry about it. But if you're using a controller, then you want to highlight that A right there and then right-click and paste none in there, okay? Because if your A is for your sprint, and we normally have a habit of when we get out of our cop car, we like to kind of sprint a little bit to the suspect's car. And as soon as you do that and hit that A button, you're going to cancel your traffic stop every time, okay? So that's why I'm telling you to change that, all right? So let's go ahead and move on down. Now, there has been some modifications and updates to stop the ped. <coughs> so once you install that, you're going to have to come back and change this traffic stop interact key from, I believe it's E on the keyboard. But you're going to want to change it to I because if not, it's going to interfere with your stop the ped, okay? So I was the best key that I found to change it to because nothing is on my eye on my keyboard. If that's what you guys want to choose, that's fine. If not, change it to whatever you like. Um, but it's best to change that up so it doesn't interfere with your stop the pet, okay? Uh, moving on down, apartment save, uh, garage. Let's see, police computer right here. Okay, so police computer right here on controller key. It should say X, all right? And you want to highlight that X and paste the word none in there, okay? Right-click it and paste none in there. Because your X is actually to switch your to switch your weapons when you're inside the vehicle. So if you have like a pistol, you have a couple pistols in your in your loadout, um, when you're hitting your X to change your, your weapons and stuff, then if you if you leave it on X, that your computer, it's gonna change your weapons, but it's also gonna pull your computer up and close it out, pull it up and close it out, okay? So to keep that from happening, you've always got the Q on your keyboard to pull up your police computer if you need it, okay? But as for as far as your controller, change that to none, okay, guys? All right, so moving on down. Uh, I think that's pretty much it for that part. Uh, so being the fact, if you guys did make changes, make sure you click File and click Save, or you can click X and click Save when prompted to, okay, guys? So now that we got that, let's go back to our main directory and click refresh and then close out of your main directory now remember that shortcut we put out here guys for rage what you're going to do with this guys is you're going you see where my rage is right here my rage is right here in my taskbar so you're just going to pull this down into your taskbar like this and then pin it when it says pin to taskbar just task when it says pin to taskbar just let it go okay and then once you're done pinning that to your taskbar guys you can actually delete this shortcut right here all right and then, now listen, guys, because I can't go any further with you on this part because I've already went through my first time Rage setup. So here's what you're going to do. On your first time setup on Rage Plugin Hook, guys, it's going to bring up a couple of windows. The first one, uh, the first window, you're just going to click yes, okay? The second window, you're going to click yes, all right? Now, after all that's done, it's backed up your game and all that, you're going to see this window right here, guys, okay? I'm going to show you what it looks like. So let me let me pull my rage settings box up real quick here. All right. So this is the window that you're going to see after you click yes on both of those boxes, okay? All right. 
and your plug-in timeout threshold is going to probably set to 10,000 by default. I put mine at 20,000 because it gives my plugins more time to load. Keeps the game from crashing so much. So if you guys want to change this number from a 1 to a 2, you're more than happy to do it. It does give your plugins more time to load and saves on crashes, okay? Uh, so as far as that being, uh, as far as that, we got that part finished. Let's go to plugins. Now the only plugin you guys are going to have for first time setup is going to be this LSPD first response right here, okay? But normally, what I would say to do is to check all like that because I have a bunch of stuff installed, as you can see. And then once you're done checking these things or your LSP first response, you go back up to load all plugins on startup, okay? That's all you got to do. Now, the rest of the stuff, guys, you can just leave alone. Don't check anything at all. These boxes right here in the command line switches, we used to check those, but they did something to LSPFR where if you check them, it makes your game crash now which is why my windows on here are not checked anymore, okay? So with that being said, guys, you can go ahead and click Save and Launch, all right? And once you've done that, it's going to take you into the game. Once you get in the game, guys, you want to pause the game and then go over to where it says LSPDFR and then click on that and then go into where it says Go to Nearest Police Station. And once you click on that, it will spawn Franklin to the nearest police station, okay? You go in... And you go on duty, guys, is all you got to do. All right? And then it'll take you to, to character creation from there. You create your character, put on your uniform, and then you go to the garage and select your police car, and then you go out on duty, guys. And that's pretty much it. Now, I will give you one tip, guys, on when you go on duty for the first time and you're on the street in a police car. When you pull up behind somebody, the way you pull them over is you get really close to them, and you hit the left shift key on your keyboard to blip them on the map, okay? You have to hit that left shift key. Once you hit it, the car in front of you that you're pulling over will turn up into a red blip on the map, like a little red blip, a red circle, okay? And once you see that, you can light them up, and they'll pull over for you, okay? And that's pretty much it, guys, for that part of this installation, because uh, I'm not going to be going in the game with you guys. Uh, but this is the installation for 0.4.6, guys. So there you go. Thank you guys so much for doing my video. I appreciate your love and support, guys. I appreciate everything you guys do. We are pushing so close to 4K, guys. So close to 4K. It's getting closer every day. I'm going up 20, 30, sometimes 40 plus subs a day, guys. So it is rocking and rolling. So whatever you guys are doing, keep doing it. Keep on keeping on and keep rocking and rolling, guys. I love you so much. Till next time, God bless. Take care. Stay in prayer. Love one another. And peace out.